Hey, we're the Geeky Guys. Hey. And uh, today we're talking about only one thing. And if you've not guessed, it is Star Trek themed. And it is Star Trek Picard. Picard. Um, Jean Luc is back. Um, the 20 years in the wilderness. Ever since Nemesis. they said that announcement at Vegas, which I can't believe I missed. I was in Vegas and I was in the other room. Uh, yeah, I missed the announcement. Didn't see the it. The first did time you? I went to the con in Vegas and I missed the announcement that Patrick's John stage. Unbelievable. Before. I gave him one job. One job. Uh, sorry. Um, I did. I did spend lots of time in the swimming pool, uh, drinking alcohol. Um, yeah, which is uh, perfectly uh, acceptable. <laughs> uh, but back to the uh, Star Trek Picard. Uh, it's back on our screens, and um, if you've not seen it, it follows uh, retired Admiral Jean Luc Picard uh, in, in current day. In, yeah, in Star Trek twenty history. years in the wilderness after Nemesis. We're now exploring it, aren't we? Um, can you enjoy Picard if you've not seen The Next Generation? I would say you probably can. Uh, I think they'll go into um, some of the history of it, the mythos of it all. I think they will go through it during the series, but it probably helps if you are a fan and you, you come from that point. You're more emotionally involved, aren't you, with your yes. characters? Yeah. I think for fans of the show, it's, it's really nice to take this little glimpse back into that world. Yeah. and. You see in the first episode, Data. Yeah, it's fine. Get stuck, um, and that's really cool to see Data. Yeah, it was, it was really awesome. Cool. I mean, when we heard the series was coming out, the first thing that a lot of people said was, "Well, is anybody from TNG going to be in the show?" And they're returning fan favourites. We're two episodes in. Third one drops uh, this coming week uh, in uh, the US on Thursday and Friday in the UK. Yep, yeah, CBS All Access in uh, the US, and we get it on Amazon Prime over here. Um, and we've got Riker coming up. Uh, I don't yes. think it is this week, it's next week, isn't it? But we've Might got Riker coming Captain. up for Jonathan one Jonathan Frakes. And, and Troy. Uh, he's also uh, directed a couple of episodes as well, mm. um, what we're hearing, so that'll be cool. That'll be really good because he's quite good at directing track. He knows his stuff. He knows his track. He knows his, track, he knows his stuff. Um, we suggest that you go back and watch some TNG if you're a fan. Yeah, just, just a absolutely. recap. And it gives away a few plot points, maybe but you're not quite sure where they fit in. So the first thing you need to watch is an episode called uh, The Offspring, the Offspring. which is where Data um, makes a daughter. A daughter called Lau, isn't it? Yeah. Terrible haircut. <laughs> Androids don't generally have very good haircuts, no, do they? they don't they do. tend to be either very square or bold, um, even Crichton, I thought. <laughs> but uh, improve that next series. Um, and the second episode is called uh, Measure of a Man. Yes. which is where a scientist uh, called Bruce Maddox comes along. Dr. And, Bruce Maddox. And tries to um, say that Data is property and wants to take him away, take him to bits and try and recreate yeah. Property of Starfleet mm -hmm. and let's research him and try and rebuild him. And the whole moral, moral, mo I can't say it. The whole moral um, question, isn't it? Uh, of that episode, morality of that episode is that, is, is Data property or is he alive? Is he, can he make his own decisions? Yeah, has he got rights? Yeah. Like um, the name Bruce Maddox has popped up in the new series. It has already. Um, and it would appear that he may have actually got hold got of some hold of neurons from his um, net. Um, and made um, yeah. an android, or, or several in fact. We know. Yeah. So um, yeah, uh, this, this girl um, finds Picard basically in trouble, asks for help, he tries to help her. Is Sadly unsuccessful, but then finds out that she's got a twin. They come in twins, there, they come as a pair. How um, do you think that the Federation and Starfleet itself in Picard differs from that of the series? Um, we kind of get the impression that they've kind of gone away from um, the way that they were in, in TNG, where they were, you know, sort of quite up for helping people and quite open to things, they seem quite closed now. And The Federation has had yeah. its fair share of issues since yeah. TNG. So y during that period, you had the Cardassian invasion of Phaedra, uh, the yeah. withdrawal uh, uh, of mm. the occupation. So that whole nasty mess DS9 got involved in. You've had the Dominion then attacked and we had a big war. You yeah. had the Borg Problem, keep taking many problems with shots the at, at the Federation. And, you know, there was a line in one of the later films, TNG films, you know, uh, I think it was, uh, was it, oh, it was with the Admiral on um, Insurrection, um, who kind of said, oh, everybody's been having a go at us. Yeah. You know, and I suppose 
that point, the Federation has changed a little bit. Yes, yeah, and it's hinted as well in this uh, series that there's quite a few member planets have left as well. There's quite a few races have actually, actually stepped away. They said that they would step away, a lot of them, if we carried on assisting the Romulans, which uh, in this series we find out that uh, a little bit mirroring Discovery, I suppose, uh, in terms of Vulcan and, 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 mm. uh, the, the, and, and the Romulan uh, sun exploding, so uh, supernova. So the Romulan sun supernovas and obviously Romulus needs to be evacuated. Which was obviously first mentioned in the 2009 J.J. Abrams Star yeah. Trek film, wasn't it, about the destruction yeah. of Romulus? So it's happening in this prime timeline as well. Yeah. They don't say anything about Remus, which is interesting. So mm. whether they'll come to that, we don't know. But um, obviously Picard, then an admiral, decides to lend um, his help uh, and Starfleet should help people. That's what he thinks their mission should be. And um, a lot of people are against it. But mm. the Starfleet agree. They go to help out and then there's a little problem. There's a bit of bother. It all uh, goes wrong, doesn't it? Um, some synths or androids, if you like, uh, that have been created. Uh, just a bit rogue. Stop, yeah, it? and take the defence down on Mars and destroy the entire Armada. Thousands yeah. and thousands of people die. And destroy the Utopia Planitia shipyard there. Yeah. And, um, and so then then we get ban. the ban. Yeah, we get the ban on synths, don't we? Uh, we've just started in the second episode to develop a lot more, a, a bit of a backstory here uh, from Romulus. Yeah. Um, the Tel Shiar, which was the secret service of, of Romulus, or the Romulan military yeah. secret service wing, uh, we now learn maybe not be, not what, the, may, may not have been the, the be all and end all, and there's actually a controlling power that controls the Tel Shiar. Yeah. <coughs> and they, excuse me. They're the Zat Vash. <coughs> <sighs> We've not killed the cold here, but we still yeah. haven't done it in Star Trek either. Um, and they, um, they don't like androids. They, they, no. they think they're, they're completely against them. So they, we think there's a connection. There. Well, we know there's a connection there, but we don't know whether that was to do with the actual attack or whether yeah. that was just something that's happened since the attack. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah um, something like that. Isn't it? Quick talk about cast. Uh, we've talked yeah. about guest stars. Um, we know obviously Jerry Ryan's in five episodes, which is fantastic. Yeah. Jonathan DeArco's back as Hugh Borg for four episodes. He certainly is. Um, maybe worth watching the Hugh Borg episodes actually, I bought mm. Yeah, yeah you could do, that would certainly lead into it quite nicely wouldn't it? And then of course you've got the uh, two housekeepers that have been looking after Picard on Chateau Picard that have been in the yard for the last number of years. Um, Orla Brady playing uh, Laris and Jamie McShane playing Zarban. And both Romulan. Um, both Romulan, yeah. He's helped and, uh, them save, he rescued them and they became yeah. his, uh, his, his family I guess. His family uh, at the vineyard, yeah. Um, and they kind of help him a little bit with some of the um, Romulan backstory, don't they? Mm. They've got a bit Especially of in the same episode. With them being former Tal Shiar, they, they know a little bit about the Zat Vash, don't they, and the hate of synths. And they even say that um, they, de they only use computers for numerical operations. So it's, it's the most minimal computerization they can manage and still be a, st st a space bearing race. Yeah, and I suppose. Um this whole, we, we have a theory, uh, and we'll come back to where it's gonna go uh, in a few minutes to finish off, but the, they did actually uh, say why not all of the TNG cast are in it in this last episode. Yeah, they did. Because really the big question for a Star Trek fan, of course, is, oh, come on, it's gonna be a war in it. Is, is Geordie gonna be in it, you know? Um, and they did, uh, is, 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 you know, they did mention this last episode, why, what, you know, just call them in, they'll help you out. Mm. Uh, and Picard kind of says, and that's why I'm not going to call them because, like, because they'll drop would. everything out of, out of some kind Loyalty of obligation to me, to me yeah. and they'll come and, and, and it'll get them into all Put kinds them all of trouble. in sorts of danger, and he didn't want that, did no. he? Uh, which is a nice way of explaining why. Why they're not there immediately. Um, they did say, he did say that Series 2, which has been greenlit, as uh, a possibility for more people for to, more come. to come back, yeah. Which Including uh, Guy and Whoopi Goldberg, which is uh, yes, yes, in live progress on TV. at the moment. Yes, live on TV. Live on yes. TV. So we hope that actually TV. follows through and happens. That would be nice. We'd like to do that. And obviously we've got uh, Alison Pill, um, Dr. Agnes Girati, who's worked under Bruce Maddox at the uh, Daystrom uh, Academy at Okinawa. Um, and they kind of, you know, wound down their operation with the ban on synths. Um, and they can only do theoretical stuff. Um, Picard obviously goes to her to see what's been going on, what he's missed in that, that uh, line of things. 
uh, what the possibility is of a, a completely human looking synth, human looking She Android. has a lot more episodes as well to come. Yeah. I think she's in eight overall, so that's quite nice. Yeah, so uh, she was able to uh, give a bit of information about that and a little bit about Bruce Maddox and you know his obsession and sort of friendship with data. I mean, we don't want to, we don't want to tell you absolutely everything happens because yeah. if you've watched it, you know anyway. If you haven't watched it and you look at it, and we've told you this spoilers, we don't want to give you everything uh, because it's a really nice watch and it's really it's paced very well. Yeah, overall. it is. It's yeah. paced very well. They're not, they're not going to rush it, are they? No. I think at the moment, our review of it out of 10, I would give it a, a solid 8 out of 10 at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I um, would agree with I that. I hope that would go yeah. up, but you never know. It's, it's serialised, so the story continues each week, and that, that's different to what we used to yeah. have in Next Generation. Yeah, used to a different well, story. Well, I suppose as Trek week. fans now, we've got Discovery, which is serialised. Yeah, fine. so we're kind of used to it a little bit anyway, aren't we? Um, let's finish with where we think it's going to go, because before it started, no one knew anything. We kind of knew data some version of data was in it because we've seen that we saw the trailer. We saw the trailer. And we yeah. know that John Frakes guest starring and, and, and the Really inserted. We saw the trailer. Carry we, we didn't know much else about that. No. We had a Borg element maybe, but yeah. now we know something because there's what they they re, re taking to bits of cube to learn stuff, aren't they, I think. Uh, yeah, it's, it's but, kind of a reclamation sort yeah. of thing, isn't it? So there's bits and pieces, but we didn't know anything. Now we've got a bit more of a storyline to follow. And we have a theory. So let's see if it works out. Mm, um, or what we'd like to happen. It's explained in the last episode that Bruce Maddox was working on a theory whereby he could extrapolate all of Data's memories and, and his essence, if you like, yeah. from a single neuron from his neural network. I mean, positronic brain. Mm. Mm. We know that Bruce Maddox has made androids and we know that they come from Data. Yeah. So theoretically, this android that's out there, if it is more potentially, but this one specifically, could contain the key to maybe reviving data and yeah. data's got the structure already because they've got b4 yeah which if you've seen star trek nemesis which was the film uh they find another soon soon uh Nuno, soon Nuno, 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 so, yeah. uh, lower lower version of it which data tries to download his neural net into before he eventually sacrifices himself to save yeah. the guy something that still troubles the guy yeah for a long time and it didn't work they explain in this in the series that it just didn't work it just completely failed however the, the body's there so if they can extrapolate all that stuff and he has already perfected the androids there's no reason why we can't bring data back no which and would be I really, nice. Be really nice to get data especially back. a completely human looking data the brain spider won't even have to put gold paint on and scrape his hair back would it be data if he didn't do that uh, um i think i think killing day drop was a mistake and I yeah. think this would be a nice opportunity to rectify that mistake. To bring him back. Um, we're not going to talk any more about the fate of the Federation because I think at the moment we're still working out what, where it is and where it sits. Yeah, I suppose we ought to uh, quickly say as well, what do we think of the uh, the new cast um, that have come in? Um, it's it's been uh, pretty good to yeah, me. I, good think, group. I think the casting's good. Uh, I mean, obviously, Sir Briones is uh, Darge and uh, Soji is well, one of the main roles. Um, I think she's dealing with it uh, well at the moment. I like the fact I actually read a, a tweet this morning where it said that she's actually gone back and watched a few TNG episodes, like including the Offspring one, uh, which is quite cool. That you know she's getting into the character that much that she's actually rewatching a lot of the old stuff and like the old films and stuff. There's one or two people in this that are a bit more unknown. I don't really, I've not really seen them before. I know mm. when you say yeah, Sabri is. is um... She's yeah, a lot of them haven't pieces, looked on a lot of highbrow stuff no. before, have they? Apart, apart from maybe Michelle Hurd, I think she's been in quite a few uh, well-known productions. But I think it's cast really well. I yeah. I, I like it. There's, well, there's been no... Nowadays, I don't think you get bad performances, do you? Not that we, we've not noticed any recently mm, in any of no, our sci-fi stories. Really. I think they cast it really well. And they, you really do... There's a few characters where things happen and they're not who they seem to be. Yeah. You know, you mentioned obviously the, the hoo-ha with um, the Admiral. Yeah, Admiral uh, Kirsten Clancy, played by Anne Magnuson, who's uh, giving Picard a bit of bother. Yeah, and, and she kind of... You can appreciate why that performance is like that, because yeah. as an Admiral, he basically left Starfleet and said, after all that time, you're not doing things the way I kind of want no. you to do them, which is fair for, for her not to appreciate why he's left. But yeah. 
he then gives that interview on TV just the day before it goes to Sia, where he basically says Starfleet was horrible for not helping out yeah. and, and they did the wrong thing, they which I think he help. kind of took as a personal attack, which yeah. that's why there was a bit of frostiness there. Um, but that does open up then that we find that Starfleet may have been infiltrated. Yeah, well, yeah, that goes on to the, uh, the whole thing of, uh, is there potentially a bit of a... Uh, Involvement with the Romulans at uh, ground level at, uh, on Earth, and we're going to see. There's a lot to find out, and like I say, we we hope that we get to the end of the series, and we deserve, or we know there's a series two, so maybe there's just a hope that we can bring Data back at the end of the series. Yeah, that'd be quite nice. Yeah, if they could get uh, Data back, I mean, I mean, we 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 hoping that's the way it goes. But I mean, could it go further on? I mean, I know Patrick Stewart was on about saying they could potentially have a few seasons of uh, Picard. So. Just to finish then, question for you Dave, we've had Troy, Riker and Data in the first series from TNG. Yeah. We know that there's potentially Guinan in series two. If you only yeah. had to pick one other cast member to come back in series two, who would you pick? Um, it's a, a difficult one, but I think it'd be a toss up between either, I think, um, LeVar Burton, Jordan LeForge, I think it'd be quite good to uh, bring him back. Um, and maybe even John Delancey, get old uh, Q, Q um, coming back, the omnipotent one, that would be quite quite fun. I want to say Worf. Yeah, yeah Worf's always good. Isn't I it? want, I, I'd like Michael Dawn to come back, but I, I'm not going to say Worf, which is controversial. I want to find out what happened with Crusher, mm. with Crusher and Picard, because they, they always kind of flirted a bit that, that, that yeah. something might happen, and then it kind of just never did, really. And then we got to the last film, and, and to be fair, the last couple of films, you know, it was it was all story. It wasn't really about them so much. No. So I, I just want to find out what happened. Did, did did she stay in contact with him? Is she still friendly with him? Has she gone on and got married to someone else? That kind of thing. Yeah. So there, there are a few uh, loose ends that'd be nice mm, to be tied up that'd a bit. Be quite nice. Yeah. Although I do want to say what. <laughs> yeah. Of course. The bottom line is we don't know where it's going to go. We hope it will get more data uh, in series two potentially. We'll, yeah, in both not, ways. Data not, about the series and data in the series. He's not. Uh, yeah, he's not uh, a lot. He's only in one episode. So yeah, we've, we've had the data cameo. But um, let us know where you think it's going mm -hmm. and um, theories, suggestions. Yeah, hopes, dreams. Whatever. No, no, it's not. <laughs> That's not a Star Trek question. Sorry, we go off and just talk about things. Um, randomly um yeah let us know what you think and uh we'll catch up with you in a couple of episodes time to see how the series is unfolding yes and where will. it's going and uh yeah we'll catch you then we'll catch you next time